Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how to build an audience and what kind of audience marketing you should have so that you can grow your brand or your business in a way that is consistent and reliable. So let's get into today's video. Hey there, my name is Brandon Brashears. I create daily digital marketing videos. So if you're trying to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, this is a great place to learn. You should absolutely subscribe. Let's get into today's video. So I'm talking about audience building. What is audience building? You probably have a sales funnel where you're sending people through to get sales and to resell products to your current customers. But do you have a funnel set up that is set up to generate the correct kind of audience so that you can slide them into your sales funnels? I know that a lot of times people will think of a sales funnel as all three parts of the funnel for generating awareness, evaluation, and then conversion. But I think that it's very, very critical that you have an audience funnel as well. So let's talk about this a little bit. What is the right audience for your brand or your business? I think that you, number one, have to get really clear about who the client avatar is. So I actually created a video on how to create the client avatar that you're looking to create. And then once you do that, you need to go and actually create a before and after grid and understand what it is that you're going to be doing for these people. What's the promise that you're making? What do they look like once they use the product or service? How do they feel? All of these points that you're going to use to convey benefits to these audiences. Now, understanding like this process of taking people who are interested and then turning them into clients and customers through a sales process, that's pretty complicated, but it's even more difficult if you don't have the right people looking at your pages or your products. And so how do you create this, this audience? This, the key here truly is content. Content is so, so important. And that's why I create daily marketing videos here. Content is my audience builder. That's my audience funnel. And on the back of that, I have offers and services and products and things. But I offer free content through YouTube, through my podcast, through my blog posts, and other pieces of content that I'm creating. So how do you go about figuring out what kind of content you should be creating? I think that number one, you need to create content consistently. You have to be there consistently because if you're not, you're going to lose out to your competitors. People think about your friends and your family. If they're there every once in a while, if they're there just whenever they feel like it, whenever it's convenient for them, you typically call those people flaky, right? They're not somebody that you can depend on or rely on. It's difficult to build a relationship with somebody who doesn't show up all the time. And that's what content is. Content is the consistent showing up, providing value, and helping people to get to know your brand or your business. People like to do business with people that they know, like, and trust, or brands that they know, like, and trust. And the only way for you to do that is to create content consistently. So number one, you have to choose some kind of content that you can create on a regular basis. It has to be sustainable in that you're going to have to create it consistently and put it out there. If you're not doing this, you're going to lose out and it's going to be more difficult to send people through a sales funnel, especially as time goes on. I'm seeing this with tons of clients. If they don't have a strong emphasis on content creation and providing value up front with content, it's just tremendously more difficult, tremendously more expensive to get people to convert, even for middle of funnel offers where you're doing like webinars or guides or lead magnets. So this top of funnel type audience builder is extremely important. So we need to get people engaging with your content too. They can't just um, you know passively view it. So the second thing, along with consistency, you need to have engagement. So people that are clicking, people that are liking, people that are sharing, people that are commenting, there needs to be action natively wherever you're creating that content. So asking people to comment, asking people to go to websites, asking people to text, you know, doing like linked texts, all kinds of things to get people to take action to engage with your content. So it has to be consistent, it has to be engaging, and then I think that you need to just figure out what are you good at and what do you like doing? So not everybody has the ability or the time to create video. I think everybody should be creating video. If there's kind of like a hierarchy of what I would suggest you create, it'd be video would be the top because you can repurpose your videos and use them all over the place. You can use your YouTube videos on Instagram, Instagram TV, LinkedIn. You can take the audio from your videos and create a podcast. 
They're just so dynamic. And not only that, you get to see the person and hear the person or see the product and service and, and see with your own eyes. And there's so much more power to that than just reading about something. And I think re if you're a writer and you're talented in writing, that's a fantastic skill to have. So I'm not discrediting that at all. But just especially with social media and video platforms, video is more important than ever. And so if you're able to create video content, then I would say video is, is the way to go. And then below that, if you can create engaging pictures, interesting pictures, and also written word with that. And then blog posts that are straight blog posts below that. I think that engaging people natively on each one of these platforms is very, very important. And I think that it's past the time where you can just jump in on one single platform. You need to be engaging on every single platform the way that people engage on those platforms because it's very different on the way that people engage and interact on LinkedIn versus Facebook versus Instagram versus Snapchat so versus YouTube. I mean, they're completely different cultures per platform if you think about it, the way that people interact, the way that they talk and things, how they consume content. So understanding that the way that people engage with the content is different, but when you create a single piece of content, you can make it work for all of the different platforms. So once we have content that's consistent, content that's engaging, and hopefully video content or whatever is going to work for you, figuring out what your medium is going to be, the last thing that I think it needs to be doing is segmenting your audience. As important as it is to find the right people, it also needs to turn away the wrong people. And this is gonna help your sales team and your sales process be far more effective. So being polarizing is not a bad thing when you're trying to identify the people in the segments who are not going to be the right groups of people. So figuring out what kind of language to use, what kind of offers to use, what to talk about, basically repelling the wrong people and attracting the right people. And I know that it sounds kind of simple when it's described like that, but it's not a simple task to think about. And so the, the more that you can think about this, the more that you can do it, the more that you can test it and really understand what are the kind of content that the right people are looking for, what's the value in advance that you can offer for these right groups of people, and how can you really provide on the promise of, hey, we're going to provide value, so you should be engaging with our brand because look at all this cool stuff that you get. Think about it in terms of the client and the customer, what's in it for them and why should they be sticking around? And I think once you do that, you're going to be able to take this, this audience of people that are engaging with your brand and your business and then push them into a sales funnel because they'll be ready for it and you'll see far greater conversion rates and things. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or need help with anything, please don't hesitate to comment below. Be sure to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. I create daily marketing videos here. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Have a fantastic day.